The photographs of the relief depots from 1931 caught my eye partly because there are so few images on this topic from this time period in the municipal archives. In the years following the 1929 stock market crash, Seattle suffered a high rate of unemployment, like many other parts of the United States, and by 1931, it was at 7%. In response, Mayor Harlan established the Commission for Improved Employment in the fall of 1931 to help the unemployed in Seattle obtain work as well as food and clothing through a district relief program. The Commission organized relief into five geographic districts and welcomed supplemental relief provided by the Community Fund, the Unemployed Citizen League, Goodwill, and others. The depots began operation in November 1931. The city appropriated $10,000 to purchase food to distribute and many donations were received as well for both food and clothing. The neighborhood depots were in part created to stimulate awareness within neighborhoods of how the unemployed were benefiting from the generosity of those in more fortunate circumstances. A report on the depots was accompanied by photographs to illustrate the work occurring at the depots. I was struck by the way the photographs were meant as outreach in order to help people understand that the unemployed were not unlike themselves, except for the fact they'd lost their jobs. I could see similarities to characterizations of the homeless today. The photographs were taken at a variety of depot locations. At the depot at 12th and Yesler, supplies are loaded to be sent to the district depots. Former Mayor Bertha K. Landis oversaw the women's division of the Commission for Improved Employment. This work included two sewing rooms where old clothes were renewed. This image shows Mrs. C.S. Sapp in the clothing department of Northeast Relief Depot at 1304 East 45th. Other women in the Northeast Depot sort and clean clothing. Shoes were repaired at the Northwest Relief Depot at 5419 Ballard Avenue. The report stated that hundreds of pairs of shoes donated by Ballard citizens are rebuilt each week on donated machinery for distribution to families of more than 700 unemployed. John B. Goff, volunteer manager, and Raymond Peters are pictured. The Rainier Relief Depot at 3805 Edmonds Street is pictured here with women and children receiving shoes and clothing. These men are at the North Central Relief Depot, 3122 Elliott Avenue, receiving a week's provisions for their families. The jug contains milk and the sack on the floor contains potatoes, flour, cans of vegetables and fruit, butter and other supplies. This image at the Georgetown Relief Depot shows people getting their supplies. The boy with the bandage told the photographer he'd just been released from the hospital and that it was his 10th birthday. The relief depots were deemed a success in their first two months, in part because of the community and neighborhood support. A report provided on January 8, 1932 stated there were 15,609 requests for food, of which they were able to fill 9,834, and 3,728 requests for clothing, of which 2,280 were filled. After Mayor Dorr was elected in 1932, a new county welfare board was established and a plan was made to close the city's relief depots state and federal aid would be coming soon. The captions for these photographs provide valuable information on who the individuals were, where the photographs were taken, and what was happening, and show us what the interior of the relief depots looked like. The images illustrate the city working to help residents in need during this period. With the change in the political leaders and evolving state and federal aid, the form of assistance was bound to change, illustrating the difficulty of providing sustained relief to those in need during times of emergencies. 